hell. I uh, dumpster driving Indiana here. And if the audio and video look better on this camera, that's because I have the new one going tonight. Just for a little test here. Just to see if it works better. Should work better. Hmm. Well, nothing this one tonight. On to the next one. Hmm. Wow. See all the chips back there, guys? Bags and bags and bags of them. That's cool. Look at all those guys. These huge bags of chips. We'll have to get the get the grabber out of the car. Have to grab the new handy dandy hook tool here. And we'll get these bags out of here. I hope. I hope we can without ripping them. Put it that way. These bags are heavy. Jeez. There must be 400, 400 bags of chips. At least. That's crazy. Set it all down for a minute. So I can get this out of here. Okay. That's a crazy amount of chips there, folks. Two huge whole trash bags full of them. <laughs> Nothing else though. That's a lot. Okay. On to the next one. Okay, y'all. Let's see if we have anything in this one tonight. See some old salad mix. A lot of trash, trash the other night. Yeah. It's kind of slim in here tonight, folks. A couple things of lettuce, but they're already pretty far gone. These strawberries, but they're kind of moldy. Bag of, bag of apples there is ripped up pretty good. Bottoms a lot of it, and they're laying in the muck. The... Yeah. Bag of chicken down there has been ripped open. Yeah, not a whole lot in here tonight, folks. Nothing spectacular, anyway. Okay, on to the next location. Well, I see they got a bunch of evaporated milk in here. And they got a big case of water in here. I'll probably grab the water.
Just got it off of deep down in this dumpster though. So I don't know if I can, I'll even be able to get it out of here, but we'll give it a shot. Here in just a minute. Other than that, there ain't a whole lot in here. We'll grab the water anyway. Okay. On to the next one. Well, we're back at the farm. Let's see tonight's haul. I managed to wrestle that water out of there. So that's a good thing. And then, back here, we have a huge haul of munchies. Um, this is just one bag. Um, we have two. There's another one behind the seat. We're going to take these out before they end up everywhere. Put them in a tote, in a tote down here on the ground. Right down here. So yeah, this is a massive haul of Cheetos. And different chips and stuff. What we'll do is we'll take these and we'll put them in the local blessing boxes since uh, school starts back tomorrow. Uh, that way the kids can take them in their lunch boxes and in their lunches. But uh, yeah, this is just a ridiculous, crazy waste of food right here. This bag split on me when I was pulling it out. Ridiculous, ridiculous amount of waste here, folks. Constantly. And there's no reason at all that all of these um, could not have been donated. I mean, 17th of December um, is when they went out here. So they're past date a little bit, but I guarantee you that that Best Buy date doesn't mean anything because... These are 100% perfectly good. And uh, they will be for probably another six months. So, uh, yeah, it's just it's ridiculous. I mean, I know they say they can't, you know, donate things like this after they're expired, blah, blah, blah. But, let's see. Smart food, white cheddar popcorn in here, too. But this is literally just a mountain of chips. And then there's another whole bag just like this in in the back Doritos you name it pretty much every kind of chip you can think of I think we have in here but uh, yeah this is crazy Doritos spicy chili regular Doritos so many of them the bag was packed so tight that they're literally just falling out, falling out of the bag here as I'm trying to put them in these coats but uh, this is a uh, this is one of the big totes guys and uh it's overflowing and full and then back here you'll see there's another whole bag so uh yeah this is a crazy haul i bet you there's probably 300 bags of chips here total at least just another night of dumpster diving in indiana hey uh don't y'all forget to uh like and subscribe and uh Go up to the top there and hit that little bell. Uh, that little bell notification will uh, click on it and you'll receive notifications whenever we post a new video. Um, some of the other people here had told me that uh, they had been missing some of our videos. And with all the new YouTube changes and stuff, the only way to really get the notifications is to click that bell. So if you do that for us all, we appreciate it. Okay, all. 
Well, that's it for tonight. We'll catch you on the next one.